T-Wade. You got a pretty sweet Instagram page. You ready to check it out? Let's do it, let's do it. All right, baby. First one, bring the turtleneck back. Hey, that's the thing now, bro. I'm into that. I follow some, some fashion pages and uh, I kind of get my inspiration from there. And I saw that, I was like, yeah, that kind of looks kind of fresh. So. Uh, I'm a fan of it, for and sure. And you got some great style, and you can pull this off. Yeah, I mean, you can pull off whatever you want, man. I mean, you just got to rock it with confidence. I, I feel like that's the thing. If you walk it, you can talk it, you know? Hey, all right. Next one, this is a cool look. Kind of yeah. got that California touch to it. For sure. Which is exactly you. Word. Yeah, that's my that's my boy Garrett. That was right when I got home in the off season and you know, a little R&R. &R. We got on a little boat with some friends and just watched the sunset and relax, man. It's great out there. That's the life. Oh, bro, it's nice. It's great. <laughs> Here we go. It's kind of like a little red carpet action or what exactly yeah, is this? I went to DJ Khaled's, it's like XL event. You know, I think Big Poppy is an endorser for it. He wasn't there, but his his face was actually to the left. It was cool. This was in 2000 and I want to say 17. Okay. And now you rock this brand a lot too. Cuts? Yeah. Yeah, Cuts. Shout out to Cuts, by the way. <laughs> Check them out. But no, Cuts is awesome, man. They fit good. There's a lot of things that you can pull off. And one of them right here is a suit, no tie, but you got the kicks on. Yeah, I feel like you can, uh, it's a little like, you dress it up and you dress it down at the same time. I'm a big fan of trying things out and kind of being outside of the box when it comes to fashion. And so I, I think that's kind of a cool look and it's classy, but at the same time, it's like, oh, I'm a little casual today. Was this at a wedding? This was New Year's. <laughs> New Year's, okay. Yeah. So I was gonna say, it seems like you start to see that more and more in weddings and and I guess like stuff like this new yeah, year just like, casual it's right just, like it's that like, seems hey, like I'm, I'm dressed up but at the same time like ready whatever. to go <laughs> <laughs> next we got your tattoo confidence yep. is yep. key what made you want to get this a lot of different things you know growing up I used to be a little shy and like timid about things and I, I kind of when I got into Pro Bowl I was 18 years old and I had no idea what I was going into and uh, you got to do everything in life with confidence um, not even in baseball whether it's me talking to you or going out, whatever it may be, job interviews, and I think it goes a long way. And I kind of wanted a tattoo, and I, I, I like it, man. The guy did a good job, and that's kind of how I live my life. Just be confident, go out there, and just be a killer and be a dog. That's the thing. That's right, so you could really see that confidence off the field, just by the way that you dress, and also to your body composure on the field. I kind of get the body composure from, you know, Coming up with Aaron, he does a really good job of it. And obviously Jeter coming to camps early and having him be able to talk to us and just being even keel, man. I think that's the biggest thing that's stuck with me throughout my career is being even keel. Now, some of your fun posts. Hey. You and Lukey Voigt. Hey, hey yeah, he kind of messed that up. I don't know if you can see there, but I kind of went in for it and he kind of gave me a hug. He got too excited because everyone knows how excited Luke Voigt gets on homers. <laughs> it's funny, after this, when he got me so hard, that was kind of a running joke. I got towels wrapped around my elbow and made sure he wasn't hurting me, but he's great, man. He, he gets hyped. Dude, I'll tell you one thing. If you watch a Yankee game and you see yourself on the bench, you are one of the first to get up, get hyped, get everybody going, and that's a very unique trait, and you do that very well. Man, and I'm hyped for my guys, man. We're all out there grinding. I, they would be doing the same for me. I just get hyped when my boys do something good, because, you know, a lot of the fans, you know, they're, they're compassionate, but they don't really see all the hard work that goes on behind the scenes, and seeing him just always in the cage hours before, whoever it may be, just, it's, I love it, man. It fires me up. Even like this interview. You played in the game, you hit the weight room. Yeah, man. Now we're doing this interview. Guy's a man. I mean, can't win championships with slacking off, you know. I think that's the biggest thing is you gotta push through things. When it's game 162 or 182 in the playoffs, man, you're not you're not gonna be able to be tired out there. You gotta be able to push through things, and I think that's why uh, I like to work out after games. Next, one of the best moments in the, in the dugout for oh, you. Oh man, they got me. <laughs> they got me, you know, my first career homer. They gave me the silent treatment. It was funny, I was running around the bases and I saw a couple of the guys just like, hey, no, 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 no. So I knew it was coming, so I had a little bit of time to think about what I was gonna do. I just, I, I kind of just reacted and I thought it'd be funny, but uh, that was great. Man, that was great. That made for a great gift, great video, and I'm sure a very memorable moment for yourself. Oh, for just sure. Like you said. Just high five and no run. Amazing. <laughs> I love it. Amazing. Gotta love the guys, man. Did you ever find out what you guys were looking oh, at I you and Clint? I knew exactly what I was pointing at. <laughs> I knew exactly what I was pointing at. I think Judgy hit a ball really high in BP and the roof was closed. I was in Houston. I was like, Fred, did you see where that ball hit? And he's like, what are you talking about? I was like, I think Judgy just hit that little raft up there. And this one got a lot of love. This was like three days before my call-up, by the way. I think I was playing left and I was like, man, don't mess up out there. I think I was just talking to it, like in my mind. Perfect caption too, by the way. They got a good caption on that one for sure. He reciprocated that conversation by getting you to the big leagues. Yeah, man, Jedi mind tricks. You gotta speak it into existence sometimes, you know? All right, so this picture. <laughs> yeah, this picture is always haunting me, man. I, it goes away for a while and then 
But you know what's crazy though? Is that you guys probably can't take this same picture today because what you mean? you've been hitting the weight room a lot. Yeah, but he's still 280 pounds. I'm still 190, man. That's, man, that's crazy. That, that was in single A. Oh yeah, 2014. Look how tight those pants are, bro. <laughs> Man, that's a Actually, bad look for me. <laughs> look where my belt loop is, bro. I got like all the way, I think I had to make a new one. So we're talking a lot about confidence, your approach to the game, and you've had a great opportunity to meet with guys like Jeter, A-Rod, and learn from Reggie Jackson. Man, it's, it's a blessing. I think a lot of guys, I don't wanna use, yeah, you don't take it for granted, but like I feel like you gotta take a step back and be like, man, these guys, Hall of Famers, man, mm -hmm. um, and they've had some success in this game, and uh, they know what they're talking about. So, being able to have these guys around 24/7, I'm asking as many questions as I can. If I'm bothering you or not, like you know, I want to pick you guys, their brain, and being able to talk to A Rod about whatever it may be or G, it's special, man. It's it's crazy how fast that goes by, because you know, at that time, I'm like, oh, I'll have this forever, like I'll be able to talk to him. Now he's gone, obviously, Alex, and I still have Reggie here, so. It's, it's a special opportunity to have. What do you take away most from those experiences with them? From Derek, it's just don't take any plays off. Just go hard every single day, give it all you can, and you're gonna get respect for that. And I think that's why a lot of people respect him, man. He just carried himself the right way. And um, Alex, kind of the same thing, man, is just make sure you prepare every single day. Like it's a championship, you know, I think. He, he always told me a story where they're in the World Series and it's game six or whatever it may be and they're out there doing early work and they're sure enough, that early work that they did happened to close the game. So it's just the preparation that he's always told me is just prepare like it's game seven in the World Series, man. I think he's got such a mental edge over people, it's it's special. And then Reggie, man, he's, <laughs> what can I say about him? He's, he's just a legend, bro. I remember one thing he told me and I, it's still, I think about it now, every time I face a lefty, he goes, take that personal, you know, because they're supposed to get you out. And so every time I face a lefty, it's personal. And that's one thing, he told me that in Loa in 2014, and uh, that stuck with me. And I love hitting against lefties now. So that's one thing he's, he said, and it's kind of stuck in the back of my mind for six years now. We see all these posts, and I think with your Instagram feed, one of the best things about it is that we've really gotten a chance to see you evolve. For sure. I'm sure it's very satisfying for yourself, but would you say that's one of your favorite parts about that platform is that you do get to share these experiences? Social media is a way for yourself to express yourself towards the fans and be able to have the fans feel like they're close to you. So whatever I can to put content out there or uh, make the fans feel like I'm engaging in them or whoever it may be, I think it's, it's something cool. With that being said, now's the time for the plug. Why should somebody follow you and what do you have to offer? <laughs> I got good content. If you want to follow me, you get good content. I like to have a good time on social media, you know? If I got good stuff, I'm gonna post it. I don't know, that's the plug. I don't know, that's tough. I got good content. If you want to follow me, follow me. But uh, that's about it, man.